Okay, good. Are you able to see my screen? Both. Hello. Okay, good. So yes. are you? Yeah, let's start. So today our topic is what is DLL? Okay, today we are going to be discuss about what is DLL, what is assembly, what is EXE? Okay, let's start. So basically, let's before going to be start the DLL first, let's try to understand the what is the abbreviation for the DLL. DLL abbreviation is D dynamic linking library. Okay, that, that is what you are DLL. What do you mean by EXE? Executable file. Executable file. Okay. Executable file. Okay. And now assembly means what is assembly? Assembly is nothing but it may be assembly is a unit. Remember this point. Assembly is a unit, business unit or unit. Assembly is a unit. It may uh, it may be DLL or EXE. See there, so don't confuse between these two three. Again, I'm repeating. What is DLL? Dynamic linking library. Okay. What is EXE? Executable file. Okay. And what is assembly? Assembly is a unit. It may be DLL or exe okay let's try to understand practically about all these files compulsory guys you will get this question okay what is dll exe assembly and all okay let's start first we are trying to understand the what is dll how to create a dll file so before going to be start the dll so before first let's try to understand the what is dll exactly okay dll project dll okay you cannot run itself dll you cannot you cannot run DLL itself. What do you mean? We will we'll see practically. Okay. The second point DLL, you know, anybody can access. Okay. Anyone can access. Okay. Anyone can access the DLL. Okay. Let's, let's see practically. Okay. The so first we are going to be see the how to create the DLL. Okay. So I'm going to be go to the D visual studio. Let me create the one visual studio project. See, first of all, understand that what is the importance about the DLL, okay? So suppose, suppose understand, this is your console application. Suppose this is your web application. Suppose this is your WinForm application. We have a different, different applications, right? This is your console application, whatever or console, console application, okay? Let's suppose think like that. This is a website. Website means what is ASP.NET application. Okay. That we not yet started. Okay. So now the next is WinForm. It may be WinForm. Okay. That is a desktop application. Okay. These are all the application types, guys. Console application, web application, WinForms. These are all the application types. Okay. Now what is DLL? This is your DLL. Dynamic LinkedIn library. What is the use? Your DLL is going to be useful. Anybody can access this DLL. Okay. So even the console application, even the you know website ASP.NET, even the WinForm also they can access. Okay. So that is what your <coughs> DLL. Okay. Now the point here is what is DLL exactly? Okay. DLL will take you know inputs. Okay. I told you right, DLL cannot run itself. DLL, it will take the inputs. It, it is going to be calculated inside and written back to the output. You understood what I'm saying? It takes the inputs. It takes the inputs from the any application. Okay. It will do the some calculation, whatever that according to the request, and then return back the you know response to the particular application. This is what your DLL is. Simple example. Example I'm going to be telling you. Let's suppose you are creating one DLL about the max DLL. Okay, what it will do, it will take the two parameters like example, uh, let's suppose you are doing the addition of two numbers, add the two numbers you are doing. Okay, so now your, your DLL will take the two inputs. Let's suppose int num1, comma num2 is all the two inputs they are going to be take it. Okay, you understood what I'm saying. So this two value is going to be sent it from the console application and based on these two values, it is going to be performed and the result and it is sent back to the you know browser client or whatever it may be the client. So this is we call, you know, 
so this is the, this is the process of what the dll will take the input you know perform that one according to the input and then return back the result so this is the idea so the the bottom line about the dll is reusability the main purpose about the dll is reusability that is the most important thing so you, when you develop that you know one dll application you can use for the console application the same dll you can use for the web application same dll you are going to be used for the winform application understood so far yes sir fast yes purnima shiv shankar no doubts okay let's see how to create the dlls file new project take the screenshot if you want file pu new project so to to create the dll you must be select the class library take the screenshot if you want done purnima yes earlier what we used to develop earlier what you used to you select purnima today we selected the class library right in this framework but earlier before the class library what we used to be select in generally to write the some c sharp programs yes console applications we are going to be right so now today we are going to be creating a dll that's the reason i'm taking the class library remember this point class library is nothing but your dll only okay so now here i'm going to be create the, this is the you know dll project dll project so that you understood see I, this is the solution name i am giving the solution as max solution some solution this is a dll project all is in clear right no doubts don't confuse between this is the project name this is a solution name your dll is a one part of your solution remember this point this is the your dll okay just click click on the okay so you can see here is that able to see any main here static wide main is not there why yes, sir fast why the static wide main is not there E even it is not generated the programmer dot cs. So the point here is what I told you here. Understand here. DLL will not run itself. Remember this point. So that's the reason here you don't have any main main function. Mr. Fast Purnima. Shiv Shankar, no doubts. Okay, good. I'm going to be create the max here. Max DLL name, max DLL, DLL class. Okay, this is my max class. Okay, I'm going to be rename this one. Same thing, no problem. Right click, rename dot CS. Okay. Now, see, I am going to write the one main fun method here. Don't confuse between the methods. You are you're, you're forgetting the method. Purnima, you are forgetting method, method. You are telling the about the property, that one thing. So don't confuse between the method and property. Okay. Add max. Here I'm going to be taking the two inputs int num1, int num2. Just give me a minute. So now understood what I'm doing. I'm going to be return console dot write line 
एडिशन ऑफ टू नंबर्स इज वॉट एवर इट मे बी सो हियर वॉट एवर डू रिजल्ट इन रिजल्ट इक्वल टू नम वन काम नम वन प्लस नम टू ओके आई एम गोइंग टू बी प्रेम दिस रिजल्ट हियर So this is my simple math class, guys. Math class, DLL project. Now I am going to be create one more console application here. Add new project. Clear? If you want, take the screenshot. Add. Right click on it here. Add new project. Okay. I am going to be create one console application. Okay. My console app project. I'm giving some name. See here, this is a project I have created. Don't confuse. This is the DLL. This is the console application. Okay. Now here I want to be create this, you know, DLL here. Okay. So see here, and one more important point: right click on the page, go to the open the open folder with this exclusive, and go to the bin, go to the debug. Are you able to see any file here? Purnima. okay now you check it i am building this you know project i am building the only dll project just give me minute guys let me stop this alarm okay see here right now i did the dll project okay i am doing the build simple when you build the project automatically one dll is going to be created see here are you see this this is what dll your dll looks like this so don't confuse let me is it possible to zoom no it's not possible are you able to see this one dll project dot dll so this is what your dll extension for the you know extension is dot dll always i will i'm going to be delete this two file see here i deleted this file again if you build here build automatically the two files are going to be generated so this is what you call you know dll see in our projects in ever everywhere even though you go to the any you know c program lot of dlls already present i will show you wait a second lot of dll go to the c program let's suppose dot dll check the search it lot of dlls already is there are able to see here everybody is created even operating system that software this software everybody they created the dlls so dlls are very very important and mandatory also okay you understood right purnima see here lot of dlls already is there in our operating system lot of dlls are there whatever you are written the code that is present in the, the same thing dll okay so now let's go to our topic so now i have created the simple max class i have the two parameters i am going to be add the two numbers i am written so simply what i told you what is dll is nothing but let's go to here it will take the inputs wait a second it will take the inputs it will take the inputs and perform it and send back result to the console any application if it is request come from the console application it is going to be sent the console if it is request from from the website it is going to be send the notification to the website like this you understood is that sir fast purnima any doubts okay so now dll is now i want this dll in my project so how to do this one okay this is the project right click on the frames right click on the add references if you want take the screenshot guys don't confuse it okay if you want take the screenshots console app project i, I want to be consume this dll in my application here okay so what i need to do i need to be go to the add reference 
click on the browse okay bin already is here right okay select this dll okay i have selected the dll click on the okay okay now see here go to the my programmer.cs so i already see here i have added the reference you can see here max functions all wait a second max y wait a second why that max function to de delete this thing right click on it project uh where is the location wait a second okay so now let me add the reference add right click on the properties click on the add reference okay so browse so see here i have the dll project go to the bin select the debug select on the you need to be properly into select the dll files you understood what i'm saying purnima and uh, rashekar hello so you understood right how to create the dll how to consume the dll any doubts purnima Purnima, are you there? I'm unable to hear your voice. Okay, no problem. Leave it. So see here. So this is the debug DLL. You select this file. Okay, select on the file. Click on the add. So when you click on the add, see a DLL project already is there. Click on the okay. So now you can see here DLL project. Are you able 